Hi, I am Jeff Lawton, and I want to welcome you to a little presentation I have for you on Pathways to a Man's Heart. And let me just say for a minute why I feel passionate about this and um, why I'm even making this video, right? A little bit about my background that qualifies me to offer these tips um, besides the obvious fact that I'm a dude. So I am a relationship coach and a men's coach. I've been doing that men for 20 years, uh, relationship coaching for 26. And so I have worked with, I don't even know how many hundreds of women. So for a guy, I have a pretty decent understanding of women, you know, as good an understanding as a man can have. And that was definitely helped by the fact that I was raised by women, had a sister, all our dogs growing up were female. So I had to learn how to roll with, you know, females. Um, and then on top of that, in all the years of talking with men and women that are couples, I've learned a lot about what works for each gender in the context of relationship. And as a leader of men's work, I run men's groups for The Evolving Man, which you can learn more about at theevolvingman.com if you'd like. But in all the years of working with so many men and raising a son and being in men's groups as a participant for the last 21 years, I've learned a few things, and some of what I've learned flies in the face of what I've experienced as a fairly common perception that people have about how men roll. What do men think? What are men like? What are, you know, what are characteristics that should be universal? to every man. And of course, we also are in a time where there's a lot of talk about toxic masculinity. So another reason I wanted to make this video is to offer anyone who's watching it, male or female, but I suspect there will be more women that are watching this, I want to start debunking what I consider to be the myth of toxic masculinity. Masculinity is no more inherently toxic than femininity is inherently toxic. Masculinity is masculinity. The feminine is the feminine. People are toxic when they want to, or because of circumstances beyond their control. So, one of the biggest things, you know, I'm, and I want to make it clear, I'm not at all denying that men have done toxic shit for centuries. Not denying it. And the beautiful thing about all of the developments in the last couple, three years, particularly Me Too, is it's revealing stuff that needed to be revealed. But I want to suggest to you that there are bad men out there. There are bad people who happen to be men. 
And I also have known women in my life, including one I was in a relationship with eons ago, who behaved quite toxically. So I guess I'm inviting you to listen to what I'm going to share here with an open mind and an open heart. Which, by the way, are two qualities of someone that are going to appeal to a man and a woman. So I'm wanting to give you a sense of what I've learned is a great way to reach a man's heart. And I think one of the other myths that I want to debunk here or call bullshit on is the rap that men men don't have feelings. That men don't they don't uh, they don't care about feelings and you know and maybe that they don't seem to care much about a woman's feelings. And there are humans for whom that would be true. But for lack of a better way to say it, your average guy is not at all wanting to ignore his woman's feelings. He may not quite know how to be with them. And that's different than not caring. So men have as big a heart as any woman. The thing that creates an interesting challenge is how accessible is his heart to a given man. We have been conditioned as men by and large in my lifetime, and I'm in my early 60s, so you know, I've done a bit of road testing. My experience is your average guy wants, who is with a woman, he wants to please her. He wants to give her most of what she wants, as long as it doesn't require him to compromise who he is and his integrity. And most of the published poetry of the last several centuries has been written predominantly by men. So men have deep, deep reservoir of emotion. But in my lifetime, my generation and you know the ones before mine and a few of the ones after mine were raised that emotion is weakness, that feelings are to be stuffed. And that really hasn't worked very well for a long time. It's the reason why men die younger than women on average. And my opinion is a lot of that happens because we are disconnected from our feelings. But that doesn't mean we don't have them. Just means we're disconnected. And a lot of my work with men is to help them get reconnected to their heart, to their feminine, and also more balanced with their masculine. Because we all have both and we need both. One is no better than the other. But most people I've ever worked with, there's an imbalance. So the heart is in there. So let me offer you a few suggestions about how, particularly with a man that you're romantically either interested in or you know you want to be in a relationship with him. And during the courtship phase, 
most people, male and female, that I've ever talked to, you know, we put on our best face. We, you know, try and present ourselves in the way that our minds are thinking, or in other words, making up. Because notice how much you try to think about what your man or a man you're interested in is thinking. Like you know. You don't. You know any more than we know what you're thinking is women. So I think it's really valuable to be able to understand that there are some shortcuts reasonable avenues, pathways to really reach a man's heart. So I've really, I've got four, four tips for you. And I invite you to try them. And I would love to hear Positive or negative, I'm good with either. I'd love to hear how they work for you, if they work. If they don't work, I'd love to hear your thoughts about why it may not have worked. So if you're willing to share that feedback, then you can email me at Jeff, G E O F F, at theevolvingman.com. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty because we all know that people's attention spans on video are short. So thank you for hanging in here with me this far. So, number one, not necessarily the number one way, but the first one on my list. Tell your man, or the man you're trying to have become your man, tell him what you appreciate about him. Tell him what you respect about him. But definitely appreciation. Number two. Tell him, show him what you admire about him. Now, here's the thing to all of these. Do not do any of them just to do them to follow, you know, a checklist. Boom, boom. Did that. This should work. Don't do it from that place. You have to mean it. You have to be authentic. And... <clears throat> That's actually a bonus path to a man's heart. Just keep it real. Be honest. My experience is women are much more talented at sniffing out our bullshit. But men have decent intuition as well. So there's if you're not being authentic, it may take a guy a bit longer to figure that out. But eventually, most of us are going to figure it out. So when you talk about what you admire and respect about him, give him some examples. And give him a little breathing room to let it in if he can. He may not. Many men I know, I'm one of them. It's challenging to take in acknowledgement and appreciation. Shouldn't be, but it is for a lot of people. So <clears throat> that leads to number two, which may sound pretty close to number one, but I feel it's really distinct. Tell him what you admire about him. Appreciation is one gradient, and admire is another gradient up 
in my opinion. So let him know what you admire about him. Give him specific examples that will open him up. Third thing is share with him the influence he has on you. Not over you, that's not healthy. But how does he have influence on you that no other man in your life does? So I hope that makes sense. And again, specific examples are great. We wanna feel just like women do, we want to feel like we're the special one for you. And one way to drive that home is to share about, you know, this is, this is what I look to you for that I don't look to any other man for, you know, besides sex. And <clears throat> This is how it makes me feel when you show up this way. So here's another secret in my experience is men are generally conditioned to look like we have our shit together and act like we do. And most men get pretty nervous around women. And I could do a whole nother video on why that is. So I'm not gonna do that here, but just know that men want to make a good impression. Men want to be good men. Most guys want that. Certainly are men who don't care about that, unfortunately. But, you know, your average Joe wants to be a good person. And he wants to be a good man. He wants to be a good partner. And he wants to be a good father when that time comes. So letting him know how he touches you and influences you uniquely than any other person is really going to help open him up. And he probably will reciprocate. And let you know, which is one thing women really want and need, is to know what makes them the special one for us. Now, everything I'm saying, by the way, also can apply to gay relationships. I'm just focusing right now predominantly on straight uh, relationships, but please know that a lot of it works either way because what we're talking about is really the way to get to a man's heart is going to be through your feminine being offered to him which opens us up and makes us want to really serve and honor and love on that feminine it helps give us a sense of purpose, or it augments our sense of purpose. <clears throat> so being able to let him know why he's the one, or potentially the one for you. Next one, let him know how he makes you feel safe. Particularly when you're with him, but even maybe when you're not together in the same room. How does he help you feel safe? Because I also know that that is a core need for women, is to feel safe. So if you're dating or in relationship with a man who does really well with that, let him know. That really go a long way because we want to know that we matter. We want to serve the women we love. 
and here is a bonus tip. Don't assume that, I mean, this might sound really like basic or even condescending, and I don't mean it that way at all, but <clears throat> men who are trying to look like we know what we're doing, and wanting to look suave and confident and all that. There is a part of most men that doesn't have any idea how to be with a woman. So for that part of a man for whom that's true, being specific about what lights you up, telling him what makes you open up to him, want to be with him more, that will also get you to his heart. In my experience, a lot of women think that we know or we should know. That's a huge line I've heard a million times in my career. I'm upset because my man isn't giving me ABC. I say, have you told him that you want ABC? No. Well, why not? Well, if he loves me, he should know. So if you're watching this and you've ever done that or you do that, you think that, I just want to respectfully tell you that that will not get you what you want. That will not be successful. It doesn't mean we don't care. It just means we don't know what we don't know. And a lot of men are not trained when we're boys. We're not really trained how to read a woman's mind. We try and do it with our mothers, and <clears throat> that can be a mixed bag. So I encourage you to not be shy or feel like somehow you're cheating yourself to ask your man for what you want, what you need. Because when we don't know and somebody says, well, this is what I want. We're like, ah, oh, awesome. No problem. And if it is a problem, then we're in a better position to say, okay, this is a problem. And let's find a compromise. So that can open up more intimacy. And that's it. So I hope that you find those useful. There's a lot more depth that could be gone into with each one. So if you have questions or you want to, you know, have me expand on anything, then just drop me an email again at Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, -F, at theevolvingman.com. And I'll be happy to answer questions. You also can go on to theevolvingman.com. And because I'm predominantly known as a relationship expert, you also can go to yourrelationshiparchitect.com. That website, or you can go to my YouTube channel the Your Relationship Architect YouTube channel. And there's a wealth of material that's on there that uh, is relationship oriented. So I really deeply appreciate you giving me your time. I hope this has been helpful. And again, I hope some of you will reach out and let me know. Did any of these things work? Did they help? Okay, most importantly, the best way to a man's heart is to be yourself.
and we'll see where it goes from there. Take care. Thanks for watching.